third. Um, sorry, I <laughs> grabbed the old newspaper. So we'll just go by November 1st. That makes everybody happy. Um, I just met with Fox News and we got some great footage. Um, I do want to say something though. I've been, uh, people have been trying to discredit me. Um, I have never once asked for money, ever. I, what was it, three to four weeks ago, two weeks before I was fired, I went to Fox News, told them my story. I went to the EPA several times. The EPA guy that was working with me even told me that he was trying to sneak me pictures of areas that are so bad, but they covered it up. So when I, we go to trial, all this will come out. I can't wait. Um, but I've never asked for money. I don't want any money except for what's due to me for firing me because it's ruined my career, it's ruined my future because what I did was right. Um, I complained about something that um, is illegal and wrong and um, it's hurtful to the environment and they're lying to the community about all this. So um, I just want to make that clear. Never accepted any money and the only lawsuit I have, even though I lived on River Road, and I have the ability to sue for that reason. Um, I haven't brought that up yet. And the only thing I'm doing is the whistleblower lawsuit. Um, but just want to look at all this oil. all through here. Now, I know you can't get it off all the trees everybody. You know let's give them a little credit. The problem is the entire area is full of oil. That's not mud. This is thick oil. Okay my gloves are clean. Alright. I take this oil and I move it around and it sticks. All right, just grab a piece of oil, squeeze it around, and it'll stick. Now, I'm going to go in the water, and it's going to wash off here in a minute. If it doesn't, then that's proof it's oil. If it does, then it's mud. All right, this is obviously all mixed with oil and mud, this entire area. They raked it. You can see where they raked it. But they didn't take the oil out. They should have dug all this out. Um, at least an inch or two. Um, you can see where they planted grass everywhere. And then some of it stuck, some of it didn't. Most of the places they covered it up with uh, a canvas. This is all oil. And when the rain hits this, over time it will um, start to flow into the stream and creeks and it will get into the water system might get into the wells and might be drinking it so it's walking from one end to the other another thing I wanted to say is my company SCT I went to a dance club the other day because I like to go to Wild Bull with my friends. And supervisor from SCT approaches me. I turn my camera on before he gets to me. And he assaults me. And then he t says on camera, I got more money than you can sue for. They know what they did is illegal. They know what they did is wrong. How high the oil reached. Look at how high it is from the bank. That's why the oil went way, way out in the swamps. So, this area is, has a lot in it. Another thing, homeowner uh, complained about all these rocks having oil all over them. The health department even told her that these rocks should be taken out of here. Remember, it should have came and got these rocks because of all the oil. I'm going to show you here in a second. 
Is there any reason why this rock's still here? It wasn't scrubbed clean. Look at that. That's all thick oil. Really thick. Really, really thick. Wow. But all these rocks have oil on them. It's all oil. Oil. They need to be removed. Oil. Oil. Yuck. Well, this is Chuck Beckman. He uh, asked me to come here. He's got a house up front. And now he's going to be on TV. Or at least Facebook, if that's considered. I have uh, oil on my hand, so I'd rather not okay. shake it, but nice to meet you. Good to meet you. We'll do the little pump. All right. There we go. So, yeah, that's real bad out there. Um, what it is, is it's oil mixed with mud. The oil is a crust on top of the entire island. The leaves and grass, of course, are covering a lot of it up. These rocks are just full of oil. And this area was told to these people to be clean. Look at all this oil. They could have scraped all these up and, and put new rocks here. Can I speak to you for a minute, Chuck? <clears throat> There's that other rock I showed you. They're just all through here. Did they tell you guys? Um, what did they tell you guys about this area? Nothing to us personally. They just reported the area is now clean. They're moving downriver. All right. And how long ago was that? They packed everything up about almost two weeks ago, a week and a half ago anyway. All right. From their staging area down here, which was one of the primary staging areas. They're gone, completely gone. And and did they say they were coming back? Um, no, to they they made the claim. It's clean. They're moving on. Clean. They're moving on. They're not coming back to clean this up. So when they lie to you later on and say, well, we our paperwork says we were coming back. These this is what they told them. They left this stuff. There's lots of oil. This is Chuck oh. again. Um, he just told me something that I feel is important that everybody should know. What about the property value of this area? The property value out here in this entire neighborhood is right now at zero. What do you mean by zero? Zero meaning banks will not give loans. So if a family wants to move out and someone wants to move in, they try to get a mortgage um, through a bank, what's going to happen? Uh, nothing. The bank can't even get an assessment done on the properties out here. So it still isn't happening. But why, why, I mean, Enbridge says this is clean. Why, why would that be? The banks disagree, I guess. So the banks disagree, <laughs> saying that it's not clean. Yes, they're, they're just that right now. There is no value on our property. Nobody can put a value on our property out here. Wow, and these are some beautiful homes. Well, yeah, and the ones you're looking at here are the most affected because they're right on the river. Oh, that's a shame. So, my my question is, uh, let's say they cleared this. Uh, they've already cleared it. I'm um, saying it's clean enough. But let's say they cleared the whole river and said, now uh, your grandkids and kids can come down here. Do you want them walking in this? No, absolutely not. Not with what you see here. Yeah, it's really bad. And uh, we just need to get it taken care of. Um, so we need uh, Enbridge to, uh, we know we are watching. Um, you know, I, I know for a fact you're watching because in places where um, I've been saying on Facebook I'm going security's been there and they weren't there the day before so I know you're watching Get these rocks out of here get this cleaned up better Get all that uh, oil off from that island that needs to be taken off 
get all these rocks out of here that are oily, put in some fresh new rocks. Evacuation mandatory. They told everybody, 200 foot, maybe you want to evacuate, go ahead. Um, they put a lot of people's safety at risk, their health at risk from these toxic fumes. Um, this is, uh, that should be criminal. Everybody that was involved in that letter to tell our community that it's 200 foot and not 1,000 foot, they should go to prison. They should go to jail for a long time. Why? Because they knowingly put everybody's health at risk. So um, I'm just looking for, uh, I, I, I put a clean glove on because my other one, um, I had oil on it from another area, and I just wanted to show you uh, what's up and down through here. So um, we'll just show the marker. Uh, hopefully they get this cleaned up before we come back. So now that they're going to see this, I'm sure they're going to send somebody and say, hey, clean that up real quick because we don't want them to come back and get more. So I hope that they do. That's my goal. Um, I hope every site I go back to is clean. Um, there's actually ice. All right, pretty soon it's going to snow. That's that's perfect for Embry. And just watch all the videos. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we're doing this for you, too. We don't want you drinking that water. Well, I know. When it first happened, she started losing her hair, scratching. And yeah, oh, it's very toxic. I know people that lost their animals, their loved yeah, ones, perfect. their dogs and cats. I mean, it's just horrible. So... There's Chuck. All right, we got the document. Do you live here? Yep, I'm right up on the corner. My hand's all oily, so I don't want to touch it. You're on the riverside? But I, no, I'm on the corner of Heather and A. Oh, okay. The dark brown house right on the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I know where you're at. <laughs> I, I would like you to set it over on the bush here. Okay. So um, I can actually put Thank this on you. Facebook. Oh, you're welcome, ma'am. I highlighted the part that says the 1,000 feet. You can just set it down, and I will, uh, hopefully everybody can read this. Now, I don't want to do this for too long, but if you can read that. It's a little windy out here. <laughs> And then, this is the highlighted part. We'll leave it on here a little longer. All right, let's see if, hopefully everybody can read that. If not, I can read it to them. And then we will, we'll just read this. Uh, the committee overseeing the congressional investigation also revealed that incomplete um, material safety information was given to the spilled, uh, excuse me, uh, was given to the Environment Protection Agency and the Calhoun County Health Department about the type of oil um, in line 6B at the time of the spill. It clearly recommends an immediate mandatory mandatory 1,000 foot evacuation. This vital information was not given to the Calhoun County officials who are <clears throat> excuse me, assigned the task of overseeing public health concerns. This is unacceptable to me as the public's health and safety were at clearly risk. Excuse me, it says at stake, but um, and who is this from? This is from uh, Congressman Shower. Congressman Shower. Can I see his signature at the end? There you go. Congressman Shower. Which is now not Congressman Shower, but he still lives here, and I hope he uh, watches these, and I, I hope he helps. This is a long video, so I'm going to sign off on this one. Uh, I like your truck. <laughs> I like my truck. I love trucks. <laughs> so, all right. Signing off. Talk to you later, guys.